Hashtag Arthalaspi, my Arthur, my Aspergers. This is my response to the Australian native animal bushfire disaster, which is deeply troubling. My Australian native creatures, the sculptures and paintings by Robert John Burton. As of the 14th of January 2020, fires this season have burned an estimated 18.6 million hectares, destroyed over 6,000 buildings, of which half are homes, and killed at least 29 people. Scientists estimate nearly 1 billion animals, both native and domestic, were also killed, and some endangered species may be driven to extinction. As well, the fires have destroyed many endangered native plant species as some take hundreds of years to grow into substantial specimens. There are many horrifying images available online. This planet is in trouble. When I began making art, I started with animals. Surviving as a stabbing victim of violent crime, I was looking for solace. I found them in cats and native animals. Taken before art college and starting to explore the job of the painter. A natural thing for me as I had as a kid. Now I was on a trek to find meaning in a life that had shown only brutality. I would eventually find solitude in the great northern region of Queensland, Australia away from an intrusive and harmful parent. The Great Barrier Reef was on my doorstep. Fish designs would evolve, I would too. Two steps forward, three steps backwards. It was going to be a rough trip. I didn't know at the time. Eventually it became doable to make a modest living in making ceramic sculptures with the occasional painting. All sorts of commissions came my way some more interesting and successful than others. A fish to stand behind the mayor in the council chamber and another to decorate a park. Seeing Green was a group exhibition at the local Perth Tucker Regional Gallery. I made these cassowaries, giant ancient birds native to this area. Koalas are special creatures, endangered, which is so very odd. A remarkable animal that needs more care but its habitat is bulldozed every day. Now thousands have been burnt in the fires. Possum possum, some people hate them, but if cared for properly with a garden tree hutch, they are full of life. Few homes on the coast have not had a visit. These are gas-fired slab construction slip and coloured glazes. This is the Queensland State Gallery, otherwise known as South Bank as it is on the south side of the Brisbane River. This is my goanna with the documentation I bequest with sizes. It sits in the vaults, I guess, as many of my public collected works do. Red kangaroos are known as boomers because they make that sound as they bound through the bush. They are seldom solitary and less in trouble. The platypus is a rare monotreme, meaning it is a mammal that lays eggs and is a slippery creature with a poison gland in its rear toenail. Nothing is so odd. I have an immediate affinity. Numbat and bilby. Slip, wire whiskers, handbill clay. Bilbies are Australia's Easter bunnies and numbats are from the dry country in the west. There is a YouTube video, the link below, in which one of my echidnas is part of a private collection of a remarkable local collector who was a noted architect and institution. He passed away of cancer last year. Sadly too, some of the worst images in the bushfires are of echidnas scrambling around charred and desperate. Enough to fill up an artist's life to creatures of Australia. More native birds, a flying fox, frogs were popular, puffer fish, and even the dreaded mozzies of the tropics became designs throughout the decades. I hope to keep working as long as I can. It has been a privilege to make such design based on an amazing array of native creatures. It has been so sad watching this country burn because of global warming, which too many people still deny. Some native species will not survive because of these fires. Subscribe, comment, 
and like. Thanks for viewing.